Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this video on the on SafePal or the SFP token. I uh, wanted to do a quick update on that because uh, we, we were very bullish yesterday. We're, I'm, or, I'm, I'm pretty late. I know. Uh, still wanted to cover it. Still wanted to say why it's bullish and, and etc. Um, but um, was very bullish yesterday. You can see that we had a big spike uh, right here at uh, well in, in, in the night it actually was. We spiked from uh, one thirty to one thirty five a.m. Uh, volume went up by almost 15 million in a matter of five minutes. So uh, was this uh, manipulated? Probably yes. Probably a little bit. I mean, SafePal is a 100% legit project and it's, it's a good project even. Um, but it, it does seem like there's some, some manipulation, maybe some, um, how do you say, some, some uh, trading that, that people already knew what was, what, what was going to happen because uh, the news was, or at least some news was, is that they were, um, and I'm just checking that out right now in the Discord server, um, they were listed on Bitthumb, which is uh, obviously one of the biggest Korean exchanges. Korea is huge on crypto, so that's very bullish. Um, but that um, they were listed at around 7 a.m. So maybe that was already known right here. But uh, usually when you see moves like these, uh, this is not even normal for a listing announcement. Uh, it really looks manipulated. But doesn't matter. Uh, we'll talk about what's, uh, what's next because ever since the volume has still grown by a lot. Uh, and there are definitely still potentials for, for a second rally and stuff. Uh, so that's always interesting. And so if we take a look at SFP right now, what, what you can see is that what I thought... Um, with, with the whole rally, we hit this major resistance level between uh, between 80 cents and ultimately 72 and a half cents. Uh, but the level where we really stopped is 75 cents, which, as you all know, is also a very strong psychological level. Uh, we we broke above 65 and 70 cents, but we immediately got like at least two bearish confirmations. Uh, we did not find any support at 70 cents. We uh, did not get any support at around 66 and 65 cents either. Um, so what I thought when I did the analysis is, all right, we're, we're, de we're definitely going to drop down, all right? When is the first uh, support level going to come around? It's really around this level right here between 60 cents and 58 cents. It's actually quite a strong level. I would even say um, that we'll find support here and that we have a small chance that from here we'll break above 65 cents. And if we can do that, then we can actually get all the way uh, up to 75 and 80 cents again. Now, do I think this is the most likely scenario? Definitely not. It's just, it, it is realistic, but, um, and I wanted to let you know it, but I think it's, I think it's more likely that we'll drop down to that level, find some support, but only to take a break retest off of like 63, 64, 65 cents. And from there, start, uh, start dropping down lower towards uh, levels more around, uh, around 54 and 53 cents. I think that's a little bit more likely for today. And then obviously tonight, as most of you know, we'll have the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. So if that's bullish, we could actually still spike up, uh, spike up all the way to 65 cents, no matter where we are. Um, I just still think that the likelihood of breaking it is going to be low. Um, and, uh, and, and eventually, I mean, if, if it's bearish, the outcome of the interest rate, which if you want to know more about that, uh, go join the Discord down in the, down in the description. Or check out my video this afternoon on that. Uh, it's, it's too long of a story for this video. Um, but there in that video and in the discord, I'll explain what outcome is bullish and what is bearish. If the outcome is bearish, we can actually drop down all the way to, to this level right here around 45 cents easily. So um, pretty tough day to analyze, but um, because we're so dependent on the fundamentals, uh, but this, uh, this initial drop, if, I mean, if there was no fundamentals coming, I would just say that this would happen and that we would consolidate here, maybe take a second rally from 50 cents. Um, but yeah, that's my take on SafePal for today. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.